Airplane parts are often complex, and what's on the right is machined out of a solid five-foot-long aluminum round. This is Cobalt Enterprises. With 105 employees, it's a small business, a supplier to Boeing and other aircraft companies. Keeping its skilled workers was critical. As things go down, we don't want to break up those teams because as things come back again, it's hard to put the team back together. Paul Clark is chief executive officer. Fred Schuel, president. We're a short to small run company and tend to do more difficult parts and shorter runs. In aerospace, we found a niche for that. Last year, they received a payroll protection program loan. If it wasn't for PPP initially, and if it wasn't for the fact that this next round is coming, what would this place look like? It'd be 30% smaller as far as the staffing goes. A year ago, COVID devastated the airlines. Concourses at SeaTac were empty. Planes were parked with few passengers to fly. Business at Cobalt and Lake Stevens went down, but they got creative. Andy Hill worked for another aerospace company, and things got bad. Did you get laid off, or did you? Hours were reduced, and full-time guys went down to about 20 hours, some guys less, but there were a lot of, lot of layoffs. And so, but you managed to avoid that. Barely. I came and talked to Fred, and he let me have my job back. Clark Fry left here last April to try his hand at retail warehousing. COVID put an end to that. But Cobalt had the opportunity to buy another company that does sheet metal work near the Arlington Airport, which both saved jobs and brought some others back from layoff. So how optimistic are you about staying? I'm very optimistic. This is primarily an aerospace company, and these aluminum castings will eventually become parts of airliner seats. But this giant machine here is actually making parts for an automatic pizza-making machine. One word you'll hear around here is nimble, the flexibility to carve their way through the pandemic and the recession, a company with plans to hire even more when the airlines finally take off again. In Lake Stevens, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.